everyone, this is Ron Finberg with CM Trading. I want to welcome you to today's presentation of RSI Trading Strategy. I'm really excited about doing this specific strategy because I get a lot of questions about what type of uh, trading setups do I use for, for my own personal trading. So one of the ones I use is a, a combination RSI trading strategy, which you will all see soon. Um, so let's get straight to it. Okay, so what we're going to cover today, we are going to discuss what is RSI, what is a, the relative strength index. Uh, after we go over the definition, we're going to next speak about how to come, what the RSI trading strategy is. And after we conclude understanding how the strategy works, we are going to show how to set up using the finding the, the RSI str trading strategy within the MetaTrader platform. Okay, so let's go straight ahead to what is RSI? So the RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. It is a um, index used to determine when markets are oversold and overbought. Uh, the standard formula will be that if a trading instrument is over 70, then it's considered to be overbought. And it's considered to be, something's considered to be oversold when the RSI drops below 30. So once again, it's used to say when things are overbought and when things are oversold. So traders will use it when they'll see that a when they see that a trading instrument is oversold, they might decide to buy it. If they just see that something's overbought, then they might decide to short it based on this 3070 um, figures within the index. Okay, so does it work? Can you just uh, buy whenever, can you just go ahead and buy whenever the RSI drops below 30? And can you just short whenever it goes above 70? So the short answer is no, you just can't. Uh, on its own, it's not very accurate. Uh, you'll see sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Why? Because if you have like a, if you have a range market, then you know it could work. But generally speaking, prices can be oversold for a very long time. So just because the index tells you that something's oversold or overbought doesn't mean that you're going to see this quick retracement. You can see situations where prices continue to be oversold for a long time. So here's an example over here. Here's a chart of the pound dollar where we saw over here where the RSI went below 30 and went into this oversold level. However, it continued to drop. It could drop another 40 pips. Uh, additionally, we see that the RSI on this went above 70, but you know we had this big move in the pound dollar and it kept moving higher. So just because something gets overbought or oversold doesn't mean you're going to have a quick retracement. All the, all, the <coughs> all the RSI tells us is based on the historical trades of the, of the past amount of trades, in the past like 20 or so trades, that a trading instrument is considered overbought or oversold. Okay, so knowing that using the RSI on its own is not a foolproof way of trading because things get oversold can continue to be oversold and you lose a lot of money just buying whenever you think something's oversold. So what we want to do in our strategy is we're going to apply, we're going to add moving averages. So the secret of this strategy is to also apply moving averages. Uh, the duration of the, of the strategy, there'll be references as MA. So we're going to add moving averages to our strategy. So what we want to do is in addition to in addition to just looking at the RSI, we want to make sure that we're, we're not going to want to buy just because something's oversold until the MAs, until the moving averages also tell us that momentum is on our side. So let's take a quick look at our previous, previous uh, chart we have here. So we see that We have this move down, we have the downward momentum, so we don't want to be buyers until this momentum stops. We don't want to be buying as the overselling is continuing. So by doing that, by using moving averages, we're going to be able to determine when the momentum is starting to, to stop, and then we can get into the trade. 
Okay, so how it works, what's the secret recipe of this trading strategy? In addition to our RSI, we want to add a five and a 20 period moving average. Okay, so we're gonna add a five period moving average and a 20 period moving average. The five period moving average is a shorter term moving average. So that's a shorter term moving average. And the 20 period one is the longer term one. So to determine, remember we said before, we're gonna look when the momentum is, is turning back in our favor. So when the shorter term five period moving average crosses above the 20 moving average, so that indicates that the momentum is changing. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be looking to buy things that are oversold, but only when the momentum is coming into our favor. It's coming back into our favor. So how does our strategy work? So the when the RSI gets oversold, when our index, when our relative strength index is telling us that a trading instrument, for example, let's say our RSI is telling us that the Euro dollar is getting oversold, we're not gonna be buying immediately. We don't wanna buy immediately, right? We just wanna, because it could continue to be more oversold. So we're gonna be a little patient. We're not gonna be buy immediately. We're gonna wait until the selling momentum subsides and then start to buy. Once it reverses, then it's time to buy. Okay, so let's look at a chart to make this uh, explain how this works. Okay, so here's a chart of the pound dollar on the 30 minute range. So we see over here that the RSI gets overbought and then it continues to go higher. So if you bought, if you would have shorted the RSI just when it got overbought, you would have lost money as it continued to go higher. It continued to go on for like another 80 pips higher. So what we're doing is we're going to wait until the red line, which is our shorter term five period moving average, crosses below the green line. And that means that the momentum is shifting back in our, sh in our favor. Okay, so we're, in our strategy, we're going to be shorting the pound dollar, but we waited to short it until the momentum trades back into our favor. So we wouldn't have shorted until around the 157 level, and instead of shorting it over here, at around 156.35, we were able to sell it a lot higher at 157. And that puts us in a lot better position when the momentum is now going in our favor. So we basically get in as the trade starts to develop in our favor. We're able to short it and stay short either for this, you know, covered over here or wait until the momentum, our, our momentum uh, subsides also. Okay, so where do we put our stop loss and take profit? Our stop loss will be when the five period moving average, the red line trades back above the 20 period moving average. So let's look at our, let's take a look at our previous chart. So over here, if I were to put a stop loss, I would, when this little red line over here trades back above the green line, that's when I would be getting out of the position because that would mean that my momentum is gone away. The short term momentum that we had has gone away and now we want to be out of the position. So our stop loss will be in our, when our five period moving average trades back above or trades back below depending on the trade of the green line of our 20 period moving average. That means that our momentum has gone away. Uh, where do we put our take profit? So we, we're going to look for half of the retracement. So what does this mean? So if the euro dollar had fallen, if the euro dollar had gotten oversold and it had fallen 100 pips, and our target would be about 50 pips from like the lows of the trade. Uh, a couple items are very important when you trade this type of strategy are to keep in mind other events. We want to like sp specifically if there's economic news coming out, then the strategy may not work. Uh, you don't want to be buying. You don't. You don't want to necessarily be buying or selling right when a key key news item is coming out. So, for example, if if your if your RSI strategy tells you it's a good time to be buying the the euro dollar, but uh, the the EU is going to have an important meeting in a couple hours, and maybe it's not the right time to buy because there's going to be a lot of volatility in the market that might not make the trade work out. 
Also, if it's low volume, a lot of times we'll have like low volume trading during the holidays and also because of that, when there's not a lot of volumes, then momentum doesn't usually uh, hold very well. Uh, one, a one, add a one third item to keep in mind is uh, I like to use a 30 minute and one hour time frame. I use a one 30 minute and one hour time frame when I'm looking for trade ideas. Okay, so very quick summary. What are we gonna be doing here? We wanna be buying when our RSI tells us it's oversold. We wanna buy when it's, when, when it's oversold, but only when the selling momentum stops. So we're gonna be buying only when the momentum goes away. Similarly, we wanna be shorting when our side tells us it's overbought, but we're not going to short. We're going to wait until that initial buying momentum goes away and it begins to reverse. So it's a patient trade. We're using the, the really, really the the meat of this entire strategy is to be patient and let the trade come to us. This is a lot of this is a big mistake a lot of traders do in the beginning is they chase after trades, uh, but in this strategy we're going to be patient. We're going to let the trades come to us. Okay. Very quickly, let's show you how you could uh, enter the RSI and our moving averages to do this at home on the MetaTrader. So this is our MetaTrader from uh, CM Trading. Here's the the platform. Okay, two. Enter. You first click on the little. F plus line over there. By doing that, that will bring up all the different technical indicators we have over here. We have trends, oscillators, different things over here. So when I first click onto trends, this will bring up our moving average. And remember, we wanted to use a 20 period moving average. So we're gonna keep everything the same, um, but we're gonna make, yeah, that's a good size. So now we have our 20 period moving average. We're gonna click on there again another moving average. Remember now we're going to have a faster one, a shorter term one. We'll change the color here. So we made a five period we made a five period moving average and we changed our color so it's a little bit easier to see. Now let's bring that on. So now we have our, make that a little bigger for everybody to see. Now we have our red line which is our shorter term moving average and our green line which is our longer term 20 period moving average. Now all we have to do is apply our RSI. So we are going to go to oscillators. This is an oscillator index. It's basically to tell you when things are overbought or oversold. At our RSI, we're gonna leave everything normal over here. And now we have our, maybe let's make that a little bigger so it's easier for everybody to see. Okay. So now we have our sh red line, which is our short-term moving average, our green line, which is our longer-term moving average, and then we have our blue line, which is our RSI. So let's look at a possible trade example that we could have had over here. Here we saw that the RSI went under 30, so that means it was oversold, but we're not gonna buy right when it gets oversold. We're gonna wait until the red line over here crosses back above the green line, and we'll be buying there at around 125.57, which would have been a nice move as it traded back towards about 122.95. Okay, so once again, that's, that's uh, how our strategy works, we're gonna be buying when the RSI tells us things are overbought or oversold, but only when the momentum trades back into our favor. And very importantly, remember when doing this strategy, be patient and let the trade come to you. This is probably the difference between success and, and failure for new traders is being whether you're patient or not in your trades.
Okay, thanks for watching everybody. And if you have any questions about this program, about this presentation or any other trading strategies, feel free to email us at dealing at cmtrading.com or send us a, you can send me a note at Ron Finberg on Twitter. You can hit me up at Twitter at Ron Finberg. I'll be happy to answer any questions over there. Want to wish you a wonderful day and good luck with all your trading.